What's up my friends? Welcome back to our blind let's play of The Witcher 2. We're here with Geralt and we're in Flotsam here. We're gonna head into the village here and see if we can find this Einar Gausel fellow. Let's look at the journal before we head out because he is well he's a poker player and we gotta play him a poker. Before long the Witcher took out the first opponent of the Perker League, thus he had the right to play against the Dwarf Einar Gausel. I would like to do that. I would also like to check out this incense thing. I don't know where that actually is, but my goal here is to get over to this Einar Gausel person and see if we can buy some books because we honestly, friends, we need to catch the fuck up. We have fallen behind a little bit and... I don't mind reading in the beginning of episodes like I do. I would like to try to push it towards the end, obviously. But sadly, we are going to need to catch up very soon because we are just falling very behind. <laughs> Without further ado, let us go ahead and level up, I guess, since we have a level up here. But that is indeed... See, we still can't do this. It's still locked. So it really wouldn't matter if I wanted to do it anyway. So interesting enough, let's go back up to Fortitude and go ahead and upgrade that once more. Oh, everything is unlocked now, friends. Hell yeah, that's really awesome. So now we have plus one more Vigor it gave us and plus more... What does it do? Fortitude, yeah, plus one more Vigor and Vigor Regeneration during combat. Interesting. So what I wanted to know is, it doesn't look like, see, I thought the first ability, see how this says vitality plus 10%. For some reason, I thought if we get the next level, it would do 60%. So it would take the 10% plus the 50%. So that doesn't look like that's the case. So this is a straight 25 and 25, and this one is just 10 combat and plus that one vigor, which is cool. And the next level, we are definitely going to uh, head towards the magic path, friends. But let's see if we can find this person. He looks like he's over, over there. Okay. I wonder if we can get to it this way. And interesting enough, I do need to talk about some things that has transpired for the past couple episodes that I've been meaning to just talk about, and I haven't. See the little blue thing on the map here? How this guy is just blue on the minimap. That seems like the blue seems to be some people that we can interact with. And the green looks like it was an, a quest person. But not only that, I've been meaning to just talk about the whole um, dialogue system. When we were up there at the scaffold, there was a timing thing. There was like an hourglass that was timing our response. And I have been meaning to talk about that, but I have just literally forgotten. That is super cool, friends. I like how it is times your conversation, so you literally have to pick something straight away. And I noticed it when we were talking to Yorvith and then again at the scaffold here. So that was pretty awesome stuff. It's very new to the game, and I like it a lot. Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Love Alette Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. I can't accept this. But... Give my regards to your relatives. I guess I probably should have, but... It is what it is. He was upset that we didn't take it, friends. I wonder what the hell it was. Oh well. We met in Vizima, remember? I stood at the gate to the outskirts. Did you? How are you? I'm doing good, friend. How are you? Can we go in there and do that again? Damn it, friends. I want to see what it was. Damn it. What's it to me? Talk to this guy. Witcher Geralt, known also as the White Wolf. Am I that hard to distinguish from the locals? Tala warned me you'd be catty. Tala sent you. Indeed. I'm on business here, so he insisted I give you a message and a package. What's the message? I quote him faithfully. Listen to Roach in every plowing thing, because though he's a prick, he's also a patriot. 
Vultures already circle Foltest's corpse, but I'll manage. Get the sons of bitches and keep your head cool. P.S. You really fucked up at the castle. <laughs> that definitely sounds like Taylor, friends. Give me the package. Take it. It's a weight off my mind, I tell you. Ah, I wouldn't make much of an agent. All that secrecy and nerves and cursing, not my style. Good luck to you. I'm off to tend to my matters. Say ya. Godspeed. Give my best to Taller. Oh, I will. Holy shit, that light scared me, friends. <laughs> now it's looking like it's getting pretty dark here. All right, so we got green stuff over here. Something greens here, and then there's green stuff over here. Holy moly. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. Hell yeah, He's baby. Throw one down. This up. Let's go, suckers. Holy moly. See ya. Well, maybe not. Goodbye. Let's see. What can we do to these guys, friends? Let's get a trap on board here. Come on in. Holy. Not looking good. We need... We don't have any swallow. So... We've got a wanted man here. <laughs> we don't have any swallow on board, friends. So yeah. Come on in, pleb. Go ahead and get a trap on board. No need to fear those witches' tricks. I've got a turtle stone. A turtle stone? What the hell is that gonna do? Carol's crafty friends. You can just jump behind him. See ya. Well, they almost got the best of me, I think. Is that it? Arrest warrant? So, Einar Gozel is. Looks like at the house over there. Interesting enough. Let's go ahead and look at that rest warrant, huh? Arrest warrant for Geralt of motherfucking Rivia. It is hereby made known to all that the witcher named Geralt, a native of Rivia, has committed the high crime of regicide and slaying Foltest, king of Temeria. As a murderer traitor, Geralt of Rivia has been sentenced to die by fire. A generous reward is offered for the capture and delivery to the proper authorities. He who delivers the criminal's head shall receive one half of said reward. Those providing reliable and confirmed information as the criminal's whereabouts shall also receive remuneration. Beware, the Witcher is armed and dangerous. Obviously. I'm just going to let these guys kill us. Alright, well, let's get over here and see if we can find this guy, friends. Here comes the Witcher. Think he'll agree. No. Okay. Oh. Maybe we should put our sword away. 
Did they react to our sword being out? Come on in, suckers. Oh, okay. I guess they are. That's really cool, friends. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Um, sure, I guess. Why not? Splendid. Excellent. Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. Okay. What the hell was that about? What did we even get? Did they give us anything? Inventory. Critical effects mutagen. Oh, friends. Let's go ahead and put that on then. Why the fuck not? So we have a mutagen now, and I know that there's a slot here. Good thing I did the, um... The... whatever it's called. Tutorial? So what does this one do? Plus 2% knockdown, 2% stun, freeze, incineration. So it gives you pretty much just plus 2% in everything. And that's better than nothing, so let's go ahead and just mutate it. Fuck it. Hell yeah! So they want us to experiment in the mutation. Cool. Well, we'll read about them at some point. I really want to get to this book guy and see what he's about. So he is right here. So this looks like the forge. Oh, this is a non-human district. So the forge was in the non-human district that I read. But what's interesting about these guys here, they had a quest that they just gave us. Well, it must well, it wasn't really a quest, but it was kind of like a bump and grab, I guess. But it wasn't marked on the map even as blue or green. Neither was that guy over there with Taller. So interesting, friends. How was that? Oh yeah. Let's see if this is the house. Oh, they're both in here. Cool. So this is more books now. Holy moly. See if we can get any kind of hairstyle. Like, I'm just wondering what we can even do anyway. I kind of like Geralt's hair like this with his little ponytail he's got going on. It's kind of better than the first game how he had this, the, uh, the just the whole long ass hair, I guess. Greetings! What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard or rather read much about you in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non human community. Yeah, well, I'm about to bust your ass at dice, pal. Let me look. You know, I kind of want to look at the haircuts first, friends. Okay, so we have a... <laughs> there is actually a bunch of haircuts. I just kind of was, was vaguely thinking that he could trim the hair up a little bit. I didn't think that there's a bunch of styles here. So we have a squirrel's tail, a low half ponytail. My hair elven style. Dwarven braid, single braid in the back. Full ponytail. Shave temples and a ponytail. Centrian? Pendulum? That sounds interesting. Let's try that one. 40? Holy moly. Better be worth it, friends. Oh! I kind of think I like it. We'll go with it for now. Let's just change his haircut every now and again, huh? I like this one. It looks... Makes him look young. Cool. I'm digging it, Carol. Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. Let's ask some questions first, huh? Or, yeah, let's ask some questions books first. Books in Flotsam? I wouldn't have thought it a profitable enterprise. Hey, many foreigners come through here. Sometimes they buy books, sometimes they have tomes to sell. 
Yesterday, for example, Lady Sheila de Tansevo purchased items for a sum equal to my yearly dealings. Did she buy anything interesting? De Vermis Mysteries, the Exeter Treaties, complete and unabridged, plus a very expensive volume I'd rather not mention. I should add... As generosity must be praised, that she made a donation to the community, specifically to the Fund for Widows and Orphans. The non-humans in Flotsam are organised? We aren't, but we aid each other as best we can. I mainly collect taxes and announce the Commandant's dispositions. That'd make you a prime target for Yorbeth. <laughs> You're correct on that account. He's warned me many times, and I've explained the need for my function to him just as many. Both in vain. It seems we've agreed to disagree. Well, the sword is his calling, the pen is mine. Hence, no meeting of the minds. It wasn't always this hard. Turned sour when several elven lassies disappeared. We lost our trust in the humans, and the Scoia'tael ceased trust in us. Did they turn up, the women? No. I believe Necker's killed them. I remember Moral of the White Hands. She and her lover made a beautiful pair. Interesting enough. I want to know what she he was talking about with Sheila, why she was here, looking at some kind of book that he wouldn't mention. That's interesting because I wonder what she is trying to do. Maybe she is trying to look for something on the cavern, probably. And it's pretty interesting that we're actually doing a contract with Sheila, friends. I'm actually telling me intrigued. You know, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. She might be decent in this game. I didn't really like her in the books. But then again, I didn't like Triss in the books. And I happen to adore her in the game here. So, I don't know. Sheila could be cool. I mean, who really knows? Hey, where Godspeed. are you going, Dwarfy? Yeah. Nonsense. So we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely gonna keep this haircut for now. I like it, friends. I don't know. His ponytail was pretty cool too, but I dig this that we got going on here. It was a good one, a good choice, the first one I picked. Though I will probably check out the other ones in time, I guess, but 40 orange is kind of a lot, friends. I'd rather not just uh, spend all my money, you know? Anyways, let's whoop his ass and dice. I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. I'm about to fleece you, dwarf. I want to play dice. All right, shall we? Hell yeah, we're going to play for that cool-ass hat of yours. All right, friends, let's get our luck going on here. We don't even roll it, we just drop them like we're dropping salt down. Look at that. Three threes and two fours. Hell yeah, I'm not re-rolling shit. Unless I have to. No, I don't have to re-roll. Opponent is rolling. Come on in. Bring it on. See ya, Einard Gozel. I lost. Hand over the coin. Here, but I'll not play you anymore. So, who is up for a game around here? Sandler's the best. We'll see. I'm about to bust Sandler's ass. Defeat Sandler at dice poker. Cool. We will do that sometime. I don't know who the hell that guy is. So, hold on here, Einard. Mind if I have a look at your books? Take your time. No hurry. Let me see what the fuck you got, man. What kind of books you got going on here? All right, friends. We definitely need, let's see. Um, what does this mean? The check mark means I have the book. Or we read it. Maybe that means we have the book, perhaps. So let's get... Drowner book. Necker book. See, there's an... Oh, a Karen. Let's get the Karen book. Anything on Andregas? Oh, there's Wraith book. Let's get the race. Three years among the Andregas. Cool, let's get that one too. Shit, friends. We are just running... Fuck it. Let's just buy all the books. This one. And this one. Get that one, that one, that one. Lazima Uprise in the Valley of the Flowers. Cool. I think that's... Let's just sell all this bullshit off. I think that's good. 
I'm not going to use daggers. I'm just going to sell them all, friends. I don't think I like the whole dagger thing. I don't even use bombs that much. Let's sell them. Though, I would like to jump into that stuff soon enough. Oh, so we can use this for alchemy, too. Very cool. Rotten meat? Okay, see ya. Alright, well, we need to get something going on here. I want to read... Damn, friends, I do want to read these books, but I kind of just don't want to sit here and read all books. All episode, I want to get stuff done because this game is so much fun. Let's just read. So we have... What are the weight on these things? The weights aren't that... Bad, actually. Actually, the books weigh nothing. They have no weight. That is very good. So now I'll just keep them in here. I was fixing to just go ahead and put them in the... Uh, whatever it's called. I was going to put them inside the storage chest, but it is what it is. Let's. There wasn't nothing on trolls in there, friends. So interesting enough. What we're going to have to read... So we got the thing about dragons. Let's read that because... It's given us knowledge. Interesting. And the knowledge thing was inside the ability screen. So dragons were once commonplace. Their rule over the continent absolute. Dragon fire was the bane of cities. The dragon appetites were a consistent threat to the first colonizers. Mages stood against these creatures. Witchers were created to fight them. Today, dragons are nearly extinct. They are occasional sightings of fork tails and slizzers, but these creatures are to dragons as stray cats are to tigers. Dragons were brought to the brink of extinction by professional hunters like the famed Crimford Reavers. Alchemy ingredients from the dragon's body are among the most expensive and highly sought out after mages. The beast's roasted tail is considered a true delicacy. Cool. Does it tell us if we read it in this game? I'm not seeing anything in that category, friends. It doesn't look like it has the you have read this item thing going on here, which is very much unfortunate, my friends, because I would love to know if I read the uh, book because that was a huge, huge thing in the first game that literally kept me going with ease. So maybe we just keep these books on us and we'll eventually trickle down each episode to read some of these books. Maybe we'll start at the top if they're going to keep up at the top here and try to remember what we did. So for now, we're going to go ahead and read at least something that we know is going to get knowledge from, which are some of these beasts. So let's do... What is this one? There's just so much, friends. Sometimes drowned men return to monsters who haunt the living, tormented by their own deaths. They seek to... Murder others, they prefer to draw their prey underwater as their victims drown. They tear them into shreds and consume them like soggy biscuits. Disgustingly delicious. Such creatures are called drowners. They are numerous in the banks of the Pontar as large river with regular shipping and riverside villages provide them with ample substance. Disgusting. Neckers in the mist, friends. Imagine a drowner that burrows tunnels, climbs trees, is more vicious than usual. And when ambushing its prey, it does so with many of its kin. Now that you have a good idea of what a Necker is, these primitive creatures are the bane of the wilderness. The inhabitants of the forest villagers fear them, and animals give their nests a wide berth. Neckers are social creatures gathering in something akin to tribes, for they can only repel the attacks of stronger assailants and mass. Witchers can use their full range of skills and techniques when fighting Necker, signs, bombs, potions, oils that augment bleeding are all extremely effective against the beast. Necker's nests are best destroyed with grape shot bombs. Very cool. So we got drowners here. Oh, the Ericus. Let's read. Let's read about the Ericus. Ericans are. Lone hunters, they patiently lie in wait for their prey in order to kill it with one swift strike when it appears. The same is true for the Ericus, a huge creature that took the liking to Riverside Forest, becoming their undisputed king as a ruler thereof. The Ericus will not share its territory with any other hunters, witchers included. 
Obviously, it's a fucking monster. You think it's gonna it's gonna share this area? Come on in, witchers. I got something set up for you. How about a fucking picnic? Sure. Get over yourself, game. What do we got here? So we got did we read about in Dragus now? We got Karen, Race, and Dragus. The Karen. The Karen stands apart among all creatures, large and small, beautiful and horrible. It is unique, unlike any other being. Doubtless, it is a post-conjunction creature that appeared in our reality in time when the worlds intermingled. It made its home in the waters of the Pontar, where it lives to this day. Over the ages, the Chronicles mention several instances of the Karen appearing on the river's surface in various places. There is no certainty if these mentions apply to one of the same creatures slowly moving up or down river or the original creatures progeny seen here and there interesting sounds like a big ass foul beast that we're gonna knock the shit out of it friends race fear and trembling race are not as some claim the outward manifestations of an inner fear they are visible tangible and dangerous on top of that according to the teachings of priests those who died suddenly without completing their tasks in this vein in this veil of tears became such specters. Race have their own aims. Sometimes they remain unaware of them, but more often than not. They pursue their calling without the slightest regard for the living. And then... Andregas. Andregas are the forest creatures that resemble Arcanids. They are especially fond of food plains as moisture and tall grass suit them. Longer than they are tall, they move about on all fours, are extremely difficult to spot as they lie motionless. Awaiting their prey, like Kikamores and Dragas, are divided into castes. The warriors being most numerous, guards being less common, and queens being the real rarity. These monsters, like Arachnids, hatch from eggs. Impregnated queens lay eggs in cocoons, which hang from trees in areas known as nests. The lesser creatures zealously guard their queens, as colonies depend on them for survival. The queens themselves remain hidden, caring little for what happens to other adult specimens. However, when their nest is threatened, they emerge swiftly and fight ferociously. Thus, to exterminate an Drega colony, one must set fire to its cocoons and draw out the queen and kill it. Holy moly! We're going to be fighting a big-ass Drega queen, probably, friends. So what else do we got? Do we have any more kind of animals, beasts, monsters, rot fiends, the horror of war, rot fiends? This one of these things was in the uh, prologue, that big ass chunk of meat, whatever the hell it was. Given that they are necrophages, rot fiends feed on carrion and human corpses, but this does not mean they do not attack the living. They appear on battlefields near cities afflicted by plague or around villages torched by famine. See a rot fiend and you can be sure that there are many more in the area. They appear of a sudden and disappear even more quickly. If threatened, so exterminating them is difficult. Trapping rot fiends makes little to no sense. Instead, they are best dealt with a cutting off their food supply that is burning all corpses in the area. Corpses must be incinerated rather than buried for rot fiends are avid and skilled diggers without sustenance the beast will leave in search of new feeding grounds so that is good enough friends i think we have a good deal of books we have read we have two of these that's indecent what's indecent pal witcher what the hell is he yelling at destroy the what just upgraded there so and Dragas, it says destroy their cocoons and kill their queens. Oh shit, friends, we're gonna be fighting queens. And Dragas are similar to butterflies, except that they are ugly, cannot fly, and would choke on cabbage. All right, maybe they are like butterflies, but they do not weave cocoons. The Witcher learned that destroying these cocoons would draw the Andrega queens, and their deaths would mean the end of the swarm. Destroy all entrances to the Necker tunnels. Geralt learned that the local Neckers use a system of underground tunnels to move about. He thought that if he could find and destroy all the entrances to these tunnels, most of the Neckers would be buried alive. Those remaining would then likely scatter 
making it all an easier to exterminate them. Cool, friends. That looks uh, good. The gods have no love for your kind. Calm down before I throw you in the fire over there, friend. Yes. The gods have no love for your kind. He even got a fire here? No. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do here? Um, let's look at the journal here. Let's see. Um, I'm fixing to just go... Let's mark something. I guess... What does the cave room want me to do? Go to Lorito's residence in the evening? No. Oh, that's... That's indecent proposal. The cave room wants me to talk to this Cedric fella. That looks like a main quest. So this one... I kind of want to do this troll one, to be honest. I'm very intrigued to want to do that, friends. Let's go to the troll... The troll's lair. Though, actually... Let's go talk to this Cedric person because it seems like it's more a dire thing. I know it might be a main quest, but it is what it is. Woe to the vanquish when fate plays tricks on the Witcher. These tricks are usually unpleasant. How surprised then was Geralt when the family of burgers saved from the soldiers of Lava Castle found him in Flossum. Geralt accepted their thanks, but did not accept their money. He always reminisced fondly about the event. Let's go ahead and meditate, friends. I was going to go see if we can spend the night here over that guy, but he, there's no meditation thing anymore. So we can just do it right here. Let's meditate till morning-ish. Because I want people outside. I want to see where this blacksmith is. Because we indeed got that quest done to do the silver sword. But... Color me intrigued to see what crafting is like in this game, so. See ya, Einard. It was fun. Hell yeah. Look at the dwarven blacksmith, friends. Look at it. His beard is about to be caught up with a freaking hammer there. You're about to bash your beard right into the freaking thing, friend. Here's me. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, Witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So how can we help you, eh? What are you doing, teleporting dwarf? So we can play him in dice? Um, I don't think I'm going to play dice with anybody, friends, unless I absolutely have to. Or a quest, because I kind of want to get to the game and the story, you know what I mean? There was a book down here I want to sell. This one, I want to sell one. Only one orange for that shit? Oh, it's eight orange. Let's go ahead and sell that. Hell yeah, see ya. I'm looking for also, let's see. Schematics here. So we have silver ore. I wonder if I need to buy that. What are these schematics here? Blasphemer's gauntlets. Blasphemer's strand and thema. Sword. What is this? Let me... Because I don't know... I don't know if this is the dark armor stuff. Because I know the dark armor is in this... I know dark armor is in this game. Obviously, friends. But I don't want to buy it if it's not the stuff. It looks fucking pretty good. Let's buy it. Let's, let's buy the armor. Blasphemer's armor? Let's exit out. Find the diagrams of Blasphemer's... Outfit and all of them crafted. Let's see what the hell that is. It's a quest. The Blasphemer's... Yeah, the... Blasphemer's outfit, friends. This has to be, I guess... The... Dark armor. I have no idea, but... It's given us a quest here, so we're gonna have to find them all. Find the diagram of the Blasphemer outfit... And have all the items crafted. Who would have known that the diagrams of the infamous Blasphemer's outfit would turn up in Flotsam? 
If you have no notion of what I speak, I hasten to explain that according to the legend, the Blasphemer was one of the three brothers who vowed to recover treasures which the dragon Osterberg had plundered from the Temple of Freya. Priestess of the deity intended to regain the treasure gave each brother a set of ancient diagrams detaining sacred armor that would protect them even from blows of Osterberg's tail. When the youngest of the three abandoned his mission, he was cursed from that moment on he was known as the Blasphemer and his armor and arms became known as the Blasphemer's outfit. He was invincible as long as he wore the complete outfit. When one day he lost a single gauntlet, the curse was fulfilled and the man perished. As the dark spell was never lifted, anyone wearing bits and pieces of this outfit would remain in peril. While he who doomed the complete set would become invincible, the Blaster Room outfit includes the gauntlets, boots, trousers, a jacket, and two swords, steel and silver. It would thus be ideal for the Witcher who did not fear curse. So I think that's the armor because from what I'm aware, if you don't wear all the pieces, like I've read about this dark armor stuff, friends. And from what I'm aware, if you don't wear all the pieces, then it hurts you or something. So how can we help you, eh? But they also do give you... Let's just buy it all. Fuck it. If we can. What is this? This is a sword. So, oh, it says right here what it all is together. All in the red. Anthenema, Ultima, Ultimum, and Blasphemer. So let's buy that. Blasphemer's boots. Oh. We're running out of orange, friends. Shit. Can we buy... Ultimum? Oh, we don't have insufficient funds. You son of a bitch. So we need... Trousers, gauntlets, boots. It's all probably going to stay here, and then we need the ultimum. Cool. Well, that's interesting enough. We're, we're going to have to make some money by doing something. Quest, obviously, yeah. That seemed the best route here. So, what I wanted to look at was... This gentleman crafted me a silver so sword. Let's see here. Witcher's silver sword, friends. So, we need... It's only... Oh, uh, so we gotta pay to get it crafted? Interesting enough. Is this good? 10 to 17? I don't even know if that's... Better than what we got. So this is 10 to 17. What is Anthenema? Holy shit. 20 to 25, friends. So 10 to 17, and I want to look at... What... This one is. This one is 11 to 18, so it's really not that much better. So, interesting enough, we won't worry about that right now. My prices stay as they are, and I'll not join your guild. Period. I urge you to reconsider. I don't give a shit about your guild. I'll not join that racket nor change my prices. My weapons are superior, and that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects, and accidents do happen. Fires are common enough in smithies, and a broken arm can make it very difficult to forge weapons. You threatening me, dipshit? Piss off, and don't come back or I'll thrash you so hard, even your plowing guild won't help you. Hell yeah, brother. Stupid fucking humans harassing non-humans again, friends. I can see where this is going to go. It's going to lead me to side with the Scoia'tael again. I know it. Um, let's see. Let's look at the map here. Because the map doesn't really show us. Let me just mark the incense one. Because I wonder if that's going to... Because that's going to... He said like a merchant in here. The guy out there said a merchant. Um... Sells the stuff, so. So how's it going, dear? Hold on, who's this guy? If I take a look at what you have in stock. Certainly, you're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Kairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. The reader won't let you traders out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean? Damn it! 
Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend, and I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Uh. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? So, we can roll dice with him, too? Interesting enough. What's he got? So, he's just... He has more of this stuff. Does he got armor, too? Oh, he's got... Stuff. Red Haze. Bomb releases a cloud of psychoactive gas? Cool. Is that like, uh... I don't know I'm getting that, friends. Hell yeah. Thunderbolt. He's got Thunderbolt Potion. Damn. We need to buy some more stuff, friends. We need to save up. So with this guy has potion stuff. Cool. Where's this? Oh, so this guy was a fucking merchant. Remember when I first came into the game? Over encumbered. What is this over here? So these these people are green. Are you a witcher? I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. I think he's just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like fist tech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Watch it. Little shop of dreams. Talk to the shopkeeper about his dubious herbs. What the hell is going on, friends? We need to click on more of these green stuff. So what's green up here? Oh, it's notice board. Oh, that's what's green there. Okay. Let's go to this merchant then. See what the hell he's got going on. Welcome to my modest shop. Are you selling drugs? Hey, man, are you selling drugs? Let me see what he's got. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. So he's definitely selling drugs, probably, friends. So we have... Look, more potion... Um, things as well. Very cool. Alright, well... I wonder if we shut down this guy's shop, then we'll lose the ability to buy this stuff. Hold on. Let's at least try to get the formula. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. If I don't get the real formula by the count of five, you'll be greeting one of the two friends I carry on my back. One. Two. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. Three. All right, wait. I'll give it to you. Here. Happy? Um, we can ask him about the drugs. Hold on, because I want to read that damn quest. The scent of incense one. You think getting the recipe was difficult and not at all? Geralt brought the information to the scholar to harbor. In Flotsam Town Square, Geralt met some inhabitants protesting against a shopkeeper for selling dubious herbs. As you know, witchers and herbalists always meet a virgin, but in this case, it's it turned out a little different. The protesters led Matilda Zabo asked Geralt to make the shopkeeper close his business. I don't know if I should... I wonder if I should... Wait. Because I wonder if I need his stuff. He seemed like he had the same shit as the guy over there. I don't know. Let's go back down to that one guy. And... Turn this stuff in. This whole quest seems very weird, friends. It seems a bit shady. So he's got harmful incense that the people are saying is harmful to other people. And he's Working selling it still. Like and this guy wants it, so I wonder why he wants it. How did it go? Did you get the formula? I'm not going to give it to you. Not yet, yo. You know, I don't think I should give it to this guy. If he wanted it so bad, why the hell didn't he go get it his damn self, friends? You know what I mean? I did, but I'm not going to give it to you. We'll meet again, smart arse. See ya. 
The scent of incense. What did that update? Hero found the recipe, but on his way to the Scholar, he changed his mind and did not. That's literally what I did, friends. I literally changed my mind on the way to the Scholar about wanting to give it to him. The learned man did not take the refusal well. A menacing, we will meet again, echoed in the Witcher's ear as well as he walked away. All right, well, see you later, pleb. So I'm guessing we'll meet him at That's some point. I kind of want to wait on this quest, though, friends. Like, I just want to, uh... The Scent of Incense, not that one. The whole shop a little... I don't know if we need that shop for anything. I know if he's selling damn fist tech, we need to go ahead and take it... Take it out, you know? Take the whole freaking thing out, but... I don't know. I went ahead and looted everything here. I went in all the houses, nothing triggered, so that's very good. Though I did see this door here, and, I, and I'm curious to see what the hell it is. So let's go ahead and go out of it. Hell yeah, baby. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Afraid of Sheila? She does not like Sheila, friends, and I love it. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together, right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Well, I wasn't expecting this, friends. Hell yeah, I'm gonna bust this shit up, though. Oh yeah! Come on in, Triss. Get some, girl. Look at her, she's just chilling. See ya. Um... Where are we supposed to go, Triss? He's at the top of his tower, but... Are you going to take me there? Alright, we'll see you later, Triss. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she's doing, friends. I'm just going to roll out without her. She's kind of just standing there. Alright, well, I don't really know where Cedric is anyway. But what I want to do is... Let's mark that quest for next time. Oh, it's got it marked right here anyway. We'll mark it for next time. I don't know. I guess we'll save here with Triss. <laughs> Maybe when we come back, she'll... I have no idea. I don't know. Anyways, friends, I'm going to save here. Like I said, I'm out of here. As always, I hope you guys stay safe out there and see you guys next time. Have a good one, friends. Take care.